All right, in this video, we're going to show you how to correctly fine tune your license plate camera, the LP60. Uh, on the back of the camera are infrareds, and if they're activated, and depending on your shutter rate, you will see either a very dark picture or a very bright picture like this. This all has to do with shutter rate. We suggest you do not use the uh, OSD menu settings to configure shutter rate. There are dip switches on the outside of the camera, which we'll get to in a second. So the first thing first is if you have settings which are not working for you, go into the, um, the main menu and I want you to reset your camera. So once you're in the OSD, go to camera reset, press uh, the joystick button here and, and it actually reset the camera for me. And then go into save all and then go back into exit. So once that's done, your camera has basically been reset. Let's take a look at what's the dip switches that are on the camera itself. So there's a sheet included with the camera that actually tells you what different shutter rates the camera can be programmed at. And let's take a look at the, the sheet that we have. In here, it has different shutter rates for daytime and nighttime. The special thing about this camera is it allows for dual shutter rate control. So you can set it preferably for up to 25, 30 miles an hour. I would recommend something auto for daytime and one over 2000 for nighttime. So this way it won't be too dark at nighttime and it'll be it won't be too bright at daytime. So according to our sheet, we need to put it on, 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 off, on. When you're looking at this view in here, on is towards the bottom. So I wanna make this on, the first one here. Make the second one on, third one's left off, and the fourth one's on. So you didn't see it in this video, but as I changed these dip switches, uh, there were certain uh, flickers that were happening on the camera and they're basically representative of, of me changing shutter rates on the camera. Once you've done that, it's always a good idea. See there. It's always a good idea to disconnect power from the camera and reconnect it so that it takes on the settings you've given it. Now, another thing or two things to keep in mind on this camera is if you're getting too bright of a picture at nighttime, this little adjustment knob here. You can use a small Phillips screwdriver and adjust the gain of your infrared. So right um, clockwise actually makes it stronger and counterclockwise makes it dimmer. And it should provide some sort of control for the intensity of the infrareds, which proves helpful at nighttime. On the back of the camera is the infrared sensor here. You have to be careful that if you are putting a finger or something is blocking this sensor, what will happen is the camera will turn to black and white. See, I, I took my finger off, it's in color mode, but as soon as I put my finger on, I'm occluding the sensor and it thinks it's nighttime and it switches on the IR and switches to black and white mode. So uh, depending on your situation, you may want to have it permanently on or leave it for auto sensing and we do suggest for auto sensing. But at this point, using the on, on, off, on approach for the dip switch, we've configured dual shutter rate control where during daytime it's auto and at nighttime it's one over 2000. And if you are getting too um, bright of a picture at nighttime, you can increase your shutter rate by to one over 4000. And all that involves is just changing the dip switch. According to the sheet, it should be on, on, off, off. So in this case, all I have to do is turn the fourth one off and you know this will result in changes as soon as I power off the camera and power it back on and it, it will cause a certain change to happen at nighttime then the picture will be slightly darker so as we're looking at it I'm gonna change the shutter rate back to where it was and see it got brighter I put it back to 1 over 2000 now I put it back to one over 4,000 and it got darker. So the shutter rate is instrumental in providing you the ability to pick up a, a faster moving vehicle at nighttime and also at daytime. But you have to be careful not to be too excessive, otherwise your picture will be too dark if you increase your shutter rate. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook. Thank you for watching.